Today, I'm sending baby Preston and his friends to nursing school. From fighting infections to helping in medical emergencies, Pooh will become an official nurse in Minecraft. You guys, class is in session. To begin nursing school, I have my official nurse outfit on, and we officially have our first patient. They have pulled up in the ambulance. Whoa! I clicked on it, and Charlotte just, like, appeared out of the ambulance. Oh, my goodness! Charlotte, we must escort you into your room, okay? Oh, homegirl has got it. She must have an automatic wheelchair because she's cruising. This is looking serious. She has now laid down on the bed in something serious is going on. So when you first get a patient into a room, you must assess. And how do we do that, kids? What you have to do is go and get the magical stethoscope to inspect people. Now, all we have to do is take a look, see kids, in three, two, one. Oh, no. That was intense. We literally are in her brain. Okay, hold on to your hats, ladies and gents, because apparently she has an infection in her brain. Kids, find the sick neurons. Very important. You don't want these to be sick. So we have a little bit of parkour action in what looks like some poisonous rain in the brain. So that's definitely not good. I do keep submerging myself, which is not good. At least I have baby noob by my side. I'm trying to be thorough, you guys. I'm trying to impress you. Kids have given up. They are at the bottom. They are waiting for me, the professional. <laughs> If I do have to get all of these, this may take a while. So while I'm doing this, please leave this video a like for Charlotte and for us to help her not be sick anymore. I don't really see baby Preston becoming a nurse. To be totally honest, I'm sure you agree, let's be real. But he causes enough chaos, I feel like he needs to at least know first aid. Yay, so the neurons have all been obtained and we can return. Neurons returned. We have gotten all the sickness out of her brain, um, but she's still not looking too good. Just don't don't tell the students. This, uh, let's go to our next patient. Now it's time for some pharmacology. Yes, we have to figure out what medicine to give each patient. Oh no, Sarah. Oh geez, Dr. Chuckles is here. Brianna, for the first lesson, and you have to teach the kids how to treat some conditions. This patient has diabetes. Baby Preston will treat her. What do you use to treat diabetes? Lava. Yeah, Sarah, you don't want lava on ya. We have a syringe that is used to inject medicines because unfortunately, yes, you gotta get a shot for that insulin. Let's put it in here and it's ready to go. Now, Baby Preston, do you think you can do this? Guys, comment down below. Baby Preston is a nurse. He can do this. We are going to drop this and he's going to perform his first shot. This makes more sense. Yeah, you're not supposed to stand directly on top of your patient, but looks like Sarah's feeling better. Way to go, baby Preston. Now we move to the next patient. This time, baby Jelly will treat her. Oh, we are changing rooms. Chickens are kind of fast. He can flap all the way down the hallway. Excuse me? Oh no, Rebecca, what has happened to you? This patient has a broken leg. Jelly, how do you treat a broken leg? Slime as glue. Honestly, Honestly, in Minecraft, that's not a super bad idea, but we're actually going to make her a splint, okay? She's kind of getting low rate care, but these are children. Here, Jelly, can you complete the splint? Jelly the paramedic. Guys, I think we need an etiquette lesson that you're not supposed to stand on top of a sick person. But so far, we have an A for both Jelly and Preston. <gasps> the next patient has a sprained leg. Yep, we're flapping away, going to the next patient. We walked far away to get to Charlotte. Charlotte is sick again. Did she sprain her leg on her way out of the hospital? How do you treat a sprain, noob? Let me see what you've got. Dead, dead bushes. Uh... Maybe that's some sort of herbal recipe, but uh, no, we're gonna get her an ice pack. There we go. So we have made an ice pack, which looks like a syringe, but it's not. Don't worry. So it's very cold. It's going to help Charlotte yet again. If you have a sprain, actually you do something called rice, which is rest ice compression and elevation. So Charlotte is already elevated and Noob is gonna give her some ice. Let's see what you got. Dead bushes. Oh, no. Don't do that to Charlotte. She's going to sneeze. Brianna, please treat her. Baby noob can't do it. This sounds so intense right now. But guys, it, it, she's going to be okay. Here we go. Charlotte, are you going to be okay? Don't worry. I won't stand on you. Beautiful. A for Preston. Jelly. Noob. Not so much.
Oh no, alert, a patient needs your help. Brianna, a patient has bronchitis. She's coughing up a storm. Oh no, Chuckles, I have lost you. This is unfortunate. Here we go. Perfect, perfect. I have found Dr. Chuckles. Also, ain't nobody got time for that. So looks like uh, baby Mr. Beast is probably going to be handling the most intense case we have had so far, but I believe in him. Sally, baby Mr. Beast will treat the patient fast. Baby Mr. Beast, how do you treat bronchitis? Money and diamonds. She actually needs some antibiotics. Super powerful cough drop. Mmm, lemon flavor. Now this is no Ricola. This is an antibiotic for heroes. Yep, yet again, standing on Sally, but I think she's better. Emergency is saved. No more 911s. The kids helped the patient. Yay, lesson number three is one of my favorites. It is called obstetrics. So that is the little babies. Oh my goodness. They look like noob babies and we have to take care of them. What does a baby need? I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm not a professional, but we can do this. Fire, food, a Lamborghini and dirt. Honestly, they probably would enjoy all of them. Jelly is the closest, but let me show you. Everyone pick a baby. We're going to be babysitting. Okay, so the challenge has already started. If a baby has a red bar over their head, they're unhappy. So he apparently needs three milk bottles, which seems a little intense. Don't tell his mom. Jeez, one, two, three, they're empty. So obviously every nursery is equipped with a cow. Duh. Okay, here we go. All I have to do is go up to the baby and here you go. Orange is good, it's neutral. Yeah, this baby drinks a lot. He's happy now, so all the other kids, you gotta feed the babies. Jelly is in the lead, followed by baby noob, and now, oh, they're all caught up. OMG, I'm so bored, time to play with fire. What? Oh my goodness, you don't light the fire in the nursery. Baby Preston, you are definitely ah, going to fail this. How much fire does this man's have? Okay, last fire, wow. Of course, as soon as we make this baby happy, it is angry at us again. That, that, that does seem realistic. So we gotta get a dirty diaper and a clean diaper. Ew, I hate that. So you have to put the dirty diaper? Guys, I just have to do this. It's part of the lesson, but this is gross. Yay, okay, he is all good now. Ew, I don't want this in my inventory. We're just gonna, we're just gonna toss that over there. I'll get it later, don't worry. Noob is so far in the lead. Look at that, his baby's already happy, followed by Mr. Beast, Jelly, and Preston. I think everybody passed this round. And so now, the students have successfully passed obstetrics. Yeah, I would not throw fireworks inside a nursery though, guys. Calm down. Like every good baby, you have to eventually learn how to drive a car. So we are going to teach the kids how to rescue civilians in need of help in an ambulance. And apparently they are all mine. I feel very legit right now. Look at that. I love driving. Wow, I'll give people money. I love ambulance. Beautiful. Well, everybody go grab you one. Perfect, perfect. Which one is going to be mine? You have to lead by example. So I am going to be competing as well. We have two minutes to rescue people and Bree is in um, not the lead. I'm not a good driver. Let's not talk about that, okay? I'm competing. Each civilian that you collect is one point. But Elizabeth must be returned to the hospital, okay? Jelly already has two points. This is ridiculous. Oh, geez. Geez, Louise, does this count? Have I returned Charlotte? One point. Perfect. Let's go get the next civilian in trouble. Okay, we are now going in a different route. We only have 30 seconds. I'm coming for you. Geez, Louise. Oh no, I legitimately don't remember my way back. Louise, you may be in for some trouble. I'm, I'm gonna be honest, I don't think this is where I came from. Oh my gosh, we're out of time. And I lost to baby Preston. Oh, here we are, perfect. I also would like to mention, Louise is my favorite patient so far because it sounds like Eloise. The kids have learned how to operate an ambulance. Everybody passes. These kids are doing really well so far. Guys, this is important. George is in extreme danger. Alert, he needs our help. So he has a rapidly spreading infection. So we are going to need to go in with a sword, a syringe, and our magical stethoscope. We are about to um, teleport inside of George's body using a sword. That's a little concerning, but don't worry. He signed the consent form. There's spiders and cobwebs in here. I don't like that. We will take out the webs. You get the spiders. Yay, I love spiders. Oh, baby noob like spiders? I thought that was Preston. Oh 
my goodness. I have to sacrifice myself as the teacher. You guys, um, to save me from the spiders, please hit that subscription button. Bree is about to die to the spiders. I can't die and have to respawn as the teacher, guys. That would be very embarrassing. Oh my goodness. Why are they personally attacking me? I feel like they're... Money. <gasps> Guys, I don't know if you saw this. Baby Preston is actually spawning more spiders for us to kill. This is absolutely ridiculous. It feels like they're only attacking me. This is ridiculous. Baby Preston, if you spawn one more spider, you are failed out of nursing school. We got all the spiders. Now we have to clear out the rest of the cobwebs. We can do this. Teamwork. Excuse me, sir. Yay! George should be all good to go now. Patient saved. We, we got a lot to celebrate. <gasps> George is feeling great. Get it, George. Dagnabbit, guys. I don't remember the next lesson, so hopefully Dr. Chuckles can help us out. Dr. Chuckles, we need assistance. What's next? Hi, Brianna. We have some patients that need our help outside. There are a few old ladies on the other side of the street that need help to cross the street. Now, I don't feel like walking old ladies across the street is necessarily a nursing lesson, but we're definitely going to help them. Oh, geez. I see them. They're all in a line. Let's go help them. Of course, Charlotte is back. It's time to help. All we have to do is press the red button to stop the traffic. Oh, no. Oh, no. I did it wrong. Bree, come on, you're being embarrassing. Okay, all we have to do is push it one more time. Turn it red. I can walk. Oh, Kim! Kim went for it! She didn't even need my help! Okay, let's scramble across. I think it's baby Preston's turn. There we go. He pushed the button. A very hard job, we know. He's taken good old Sally across the road. Little Sally Walker walked across the street. So, way to go, baby Preston. It is baby Jelly's turn now. Beautiful, beautiful execution. Make that green light red. But make your subscription button gray. Charlotte crossed the road. All on her own, really. Now, it is baby Mr. Beast's turn. I feel like he's going to make the crosswalk gold. Let's be real. Yeah, what did I say? He's giving her diamonds. Okay, baby noob I'm a little concerned with because he gets lost quite frequently. You've got this, noob. You can do it. Okay, yeah, it is still green. Oh my gosh, Sarah, run. That was almost bad. You're crazy. Sarah, I'm sorry. Yeah, baby noob, I would run away from her too. So now it is time for us to go back into the hospital. The light is red. We learned our lesson. Now we have to simply push them in a wheelchair to their room. It shouldn't be too hard. They're just chilling here. Let me take good old Rebecca. Here we go. Kim is honestly wheeling herself. I don't, I don't even feel like she needs me. She's a strong, independent woman. Let's go, Kim. You've got this. Find your room. Now it's y'all's turn. Baby Preston, he's on the run. He's going to lead by example. Let's go, baby Preston. He's taking old lady Sally, and uh, she's about to find her hospital bed. Don't tell her she's laying in the nursery. Oh, now baby noob is going. Looks like baby jelly is going as well. Oh my gosh, I didn't even see them take their patients. <gasps> Sarah? No, 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 noob. <laughs> Don't take her outside. This is not up to code. Wait, young man, this is back outside. You're welcome. Yes, yeah, noob has a good heart. You see, he just doesn't have good execution. Okay, in order to help Miss Sarah over here, we have iron swords for the students, a vacuum that is specifically for germs, and an antibiotic and disinfected sword. Now look at this. Antibiotic will help kill the germs, and disinfectant will do this. Pretty intense, right? I don't really trust baby Preston with this, but they gotta help fight the virus. Let's go, guys. We've got this. It's time to save Sarah. We've got you, girl. Oh, my goodness. These are nasty viruses. So I'm going to use my antibiotic sword and get rid of this guy. Antibiotic sword, level one reach. So it looks like each time I use this, it becomes more powerful. I would like to use the, the fireball a little bit. You've got to wait 10 seconds to use the disinfected sword again. I'll save you, baby noob. We've got this, you guys. I don't know where I am, but we can do it. I feel bad. These look a little bit like infested slime blocks, and this may be a little hard for jelly. Antibiotic sword is now at level five, so it is pretty OP. It's setting things on fire at this point. Oh, this guy looks pretty intense. Oh, geez. I don't have any fireballs ready. <gasps> infected baby jelly? Oh, that's bad. That's that's bad. Our student has become infected. Do I use a sword on you with antibiotics? I'm uh, virus killed. This is a little concerning. I'm going to take him to the school nurse. Whew. As soon as we saved Sarah, baby jelly felt just fine. We did it. 
Oh, okay. Um, oh no. Another emergency. Patient needs our help. Dr. Chuckles, um, where are you? Apparently he said, please help me. A patient is bleeding. I don't see where he is. I'm, I'm kind of panicking. That's, that's not good, sir. Chuckles, this is very important. Oh, it's not Dr. Chuckles. It's just a regular doctor. She's bleeding. That's why she has little red particles. Let's see. We have a lot of bandages. Let's take them all. You can never be too prepared. We're going to have to use the magical stethoscope and go for it. We've got you, Rebecca. Rebecca's had a rough day. Can we just talk about a lot of these patients keep returning? So 0% of the infection is cleared. Guys, run as far up as you can. I don't know if you see, but this blood kind of looks like lava and there are magma cubes. I, I don't even know what to do about those right now. I have nothing but bandages in my hands. Uh Oh, geez. The floor is literally lava. Maybe I can throw the bandage at the source so let's go a little higher oh i threw it we are slowly containing the infection the bleeding is stopping 22 percent done oh my goodness ah no oh gosh i'm going to die Whew, i made it back to safety the students aren't actually helping me but this lesson is dangerous enough that that's okay i think the only option is to throw bandages that's all i have we don't have any weapons but it seems to be working we are 76 percent done the kids are doing a really good job oh bleeding has stopped i do still see some magma cubes but it, it looks like the kids got it way to go guys rebecca has made a full recovery we have saved another patient and i think that's the last lesson of the day oh the director of the hospital and dr chuckles are here this is a big moment Brianna, congratulations for your work. You've taught these babies how to be a perfect nurse. I'm going to give them the nurse certificate. They have their nursing license now. This was a lot easier, I'm not gonna lie, than my four years of nursing school, but I'm proud of them. Baby Preston is officially a nurse. So is Jelly. Baby Mr. Beast. Baby Noob didn't pass, he got a dirt block. <laughs> your class graduated except for Baby Noob, but he has some dirt, so he's okay. Well, guys, now if Baby Preston lights a lot of fire, he knows some first aid. Well, I couldn't be prouder of these students. They did a great job. Y'all have a blessed day. I will see you in my next video. And if you enjoyed this video, make sure you click one of the next ones that YouTube is suggesting you.